how you guys doing? I had this in my heart that um, there are people out there that are of the belief that if you read this and you do what it says, you're born again. Now, with that being said, the Pharisees had scripture. They read scripture and they did apply some of it. They weren't born again. Nicodemus, when Jesus was explaining being born again, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Nicodemus wasn't yet born again, and he was a teacher of the law. He was one of the, he was one of the great teachers in Israel. None of those people were born again until they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Um, you know, John 3, 5, I know I read this a lot, you know, it probably sound like a broken record, but let me read it, and, and let me read it to you. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born, of water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of God that is being born again don't let anyone tell you otherwise and if you're someone who thought you could just pick up a Bible excuse me and read it and that means you're born again that is not what being born again is before the Lord sealed me with the Holy Ghost and I do carry the testimony of Jesus Christ before the Lord baptized me with the Holy Ghost the Lord put it on my mind to look in the mirror, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, born again, what's that? Because I, I had experienced someone in the past who, who called themselves a born again Christian and I thought that they thought that all they had to do was pick up a Bible, stop doing all the things they used to do, and all of a sudden they're born again. Not born, if you're not born of water and the Spirit, you're not born again. All right, and I'm telling you, not only from what Scripture plainly and simply states, but I'm coupling that with my the testimony the Lord Jesus Christ gave me of himself. The Lord Jesus Christ was crucified through his hands. I know you see people that will say, no, it's through his wrist. It could be through his hands. It was through his hands. I guarantee you, I promise you, it was through his hands. Just like the scripture says, they pierced my hands and my feet. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Every word of God proves true and every word of God is pure. Once you start making compromises and saying, well, it could have been this or it was that, then you start, then you open up, you open up Pandora's box to question everything in God's word. And that goes right back to the Garden of Eden. Yeah, has God said. But I challenge you to show me in scripture where it says, if you read this, you're born again. Pharisees had scripture. Sadducees had scripture. They were not born again. You must be born again of water and spirit, just like the scripture says. And I would just like to um, ask you and plead with you and say, please seek uh, God repent of your sins uh, uh, this is for me too and seek the baptism of the holy ghost ask him if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts on your children how much more will your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him there's a reason why that's in there and i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll talk to you again soon bye